people just jumped out of that airplane. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I see him. There's the parachute. That's cool. Okay, now to not be stung by aggressive honeybees. All right, have a, I don't know, an hour or so to fish this morning. Will's already headed down there. He's skipping the intro this morning. Uh, he'll probably have a fish caught before I even get down there. It's a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful day. It's Memorial Day weekend. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but today is Memorial Day weekend, which oftentimes means spawning bluegills. Fishing with a new rod and reel setup, actually, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I don't know. It's too nice a morning to sit and watch TV while I wait on picking my daughter up. So we're fishing. Hope we catch something. Let's see, last time I was here, the moss was growing. There's a bass right there. Water is still really clear. There's a bass just hanging out right there. I'm going to see if I can give me the bite here. See so if I can get his spark. Oh, there's a couple of them. You got them to turn their heads. Just little dinky guys. People have definitely been fishing down here. Definitely been fishing down here. <laughs> Beaten paths. Oh. A little twist in my line. Figure that out in a minute. Alright, one more cast over here and then I'm going to... Move along. There's fish. There we go. Finally. It's like a bluegill. Yep. Nice bluegill. Fish on. Yeah, that's big bluegill. Oh yeah, fish. That's a big bluegill. A female. Yeah, she's carrying eggs. They don't. No, I don't see any nests along here. Big fish. Hmm, that is super muddy. They're not muddy, mucky, mossy. Kind of just looking down to see if I can see this kind of little shallow corner here. See if there's any, if I can see any sign of beds. I don't. Oh, bass just moved from under that log. I assume it's bass. I'll just cast through here and see. there's anything in this kind of shallow corner here. Oh, oh yeah. That was a, that was a big bluegill, I think. Just had it by the tail. Just had it by, oh. That's a bluegill. That's a bluegill. Did I get it. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> they are coming up here. It looks like they are starting to make beds, maybe. If they haven't made beds, maybe. I'm just not seeing them very well. Oh, it's really natty here. Holy cow. So many bats. Oh, here comes one. Oh, it's aggressive. Got him. Oh, I had him. That's fun to watch. I 
I doubt if you guys can see that. It's just far enough away. That was fun to watch. You'd see him just chasing it. It's a pretty good sized bluegill. Oh, right there. Oh, he hit it. That was a good one. They're hitting the tail. Maybe I need to switch baits. I'm going They're definitely coming after it. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, no, that was a bass. Hmm. Thought for a second that was a really big blue. Oh, this little bass. Bass spooked a few of these fish away. Oh no, that's not a great cast. Oh, actually, it's almost an amazing cast. Oh, there we go. Oh man, I'm just not hooking up. I'm gonna switch this out and see if it makes a difference. Okay, I've switched out. I actually put on not necessarily a smaller bodied bait it, it really is a bigger bodied bait uh, a little bobby garland um, but it's a little smaller hook i'm thinking maybe that so i've caught some awful small fish and a few fish on that this spring I wonder if that will increase my hookups so I've had plenty of bites this morning and plenty of follows and chases. Just hookup percentage kind of sucks. All right, so historically, this has been a spot where bluegills have made beds. And I do not see any right now. <laughs> Fall on my butt though. What a leopard frog. Just looking at it. Oh, there's fish. Little bass, I think. Yep. Stay out of there. Ah, stay out of that moss. Yuck. Alright, get him up here. That has been the average size of bass in this pond this spring. Just a small guy. That's okay. There he goes. Yeah, that's the size of pretty much all of them I've seen cruising this morning. Morning, Dan. Oh, this dry air is drying my eyes out and burning them. I feel like all I've done this morning is cry. What's the matter? Oh. Fucking thunder, yeah, they were pretty active when I walked by a minute ago. Holy crap. There's a bass over there just staring at me. There's two bluegill just staring at me. This water is so clear. They're just eyeballing me. Like, what are you doing, dude? We are not going to bite anything you throw at us. So, get out of here with that nonsense. I'm going to run by these bass and see if... Oh my gosh. 
Well, I caught a fish. Perhaps the smallest bluegill I have ever caught in this pond. This pond is full of eight to ten plus inchers. Even caught a, a um, red ear in here that was a foot long and several that were in that same range. And that is probably the littlest bluegill I've ever caught out of this pond. Oh geez, those bass, see that? There's trees in here. See if I can cast them for a little bit. I ran it right over top of the nicer of those bass. I didn't even look at it. Big. What is that? There's a giant. That's gonna be a grass carp. Holy freaking cow. What is that? That is a gigantic fish. Unless it's a catfish. That gotta be a grass carp. That thing is gi freaking gigantic. Had to be a grass carp. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a grass carp. Oh my gosh, I doubt if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in. It's gone. Wow. Will, there's a gigantic grass carp right here. Oh, that's fish. It is not a gigantic grass carp. <laughs> you caught one? Oh, I just lost a really nice bluegill trying to lift him in. Will just caught a nice bluegill. That's cool. Super thick, he said. It's interesting. I've seen all these fish cruising up in the shallows. But actually, almost all of my bites, all my fish have come a ways offshore. These fish up in the shallows just don't seem to be actively feeding. They're just cruising. Will, look up! Skydivers! Had another bite. Do you see him? Yeah. Skydivers. We're right by a little airport, and the skydiving club just put a building up over here. And a weird sound, and I look up, and there's people falling out of the sky. It's pretty cool. Oh, geez, there's a nice bass right there. A nicer bass. Let's see if he's interested. I'm gonna run it right in front of him. I'm gonna hit him with it. <laughs> I hit him with it. He didn't care. Right there. Seems like these fish that are up cruising in the shallows aren't like hitting as much as the ones that are a little deeper for some reason. I've seen some nice fish this morning cruising. Oh man, check that out. Yeah, that's a skull of a grass carp. That's a big daddy. And it looks about the size of the live one I saw down there. There's some old grass carp. All right, so there are, these look like maybe all, oh, those are bluegills. I thought maybe they were red ears on beds down here. So really up in here shallow, they are guarding nests 
And those are all bulls guarding this. There's one just staring at me. The biggest one of the bunch is staring at me right there. Oh, see if you watch, what happens is these bluegills make their nests, they lay their eggs, and then the mature males, the bulls, come in and guard those nests. And as I watch, you can see little bluegills every once in a while coming in. They are trying to rob these nests. And then the males will be chasing them off. Here comes a little bass, two little bass. I'm guessing those bluegills are going to chase them off. Because that's what they do. And if you take these fish out, if you take big male bluegills out, especially this time of year, it is really, really bad for a pond. As these bluegills are down there just doing their thing. Again, I don't mind catching them. They'll go back. Um, like right now, I'll cast and see if I can get one of these bigger fish to take a swipe at it. So I can get my lure to not be tangled up. Every time I go to do something with my lure, it's tangled up. Um, but I would not keep any of these fish, and I'd be really careful about overfishing them. Right, right there. Yeah, it's just too easy. I mean, they are aggressive. They are guarding nests, and that is a big male. And he is... His job is to guard those nests, and there he goes. And he went right back in with the other fish, and he'll circle back around and get back on a nest, and he'll be fine. They're fun to catch, but again, it it is easy to hurt a pond this year without realizing it. This time of year, without realizing it. Let me let me cast a few times here. Oh, there's beds. Here, yeah, old beds at least. But this ground is beaten here. I wonder if somebody is just coming here and caught just a ton of fish out of here. Because I see one fish garden a nest. All the rest of these nests are empty. I mean, I guess they could be done. Those down there didn't act like it. I'm guessing somebody's just come in here and pick these fish off. That sucks. Well, again, it's just they're easily targeted, and I mean, they just are super aggressive, and they're nice fish. So, and most people, not most, I don't know, don't realize the harm they do to a pond. It's okay to keep some fish out, but time of year matters. Which fish you're taking out matters. How many you take out really matters. Yeah, there's one, I see one fish garden a nest over here. And this shoreline is just beat down. So, that sucks. For this pond. All right. All right, this will be last cast, calling it quits. Not a ton of fish caught this morning. Actually, quite a few I caught. Several, not quite a few. Several I caught when my camera was off, of course, because I don't pay close enough attention to that. But caught some healthy. The fish we caught this morning were healthy. Just wish we would have caught more. Will caught one really big bluegill. I caught... I'd say one big bluegill, several smaller, one or two decent ones, a few bass, but I don't know. It's a good morning. Good morning to be out fishing, right, Will? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're going to call that quits. Thanks for watching. God bless you. See you next time.